I do what I do because I love the people I work with. And somebody said today that we treat everybody like our parents. I treat everybody like my mom wants to be treated. And I use that statement with my patients and their families. Well, if it was my mom, we'd be going to the emergency room. If it was my mom, this is the medicine she'd be taking for sure. You know, we, we wouldn't be skipping it. But I, I do use that often. And I, I think that that's the attitude that I've approached everybody with. And yeah, if my mom or my dad couldn't get the blocks painted for my child, my, their grandchild, I'd be jumping up to do it. I realized many, many years ago that I wanted to take care of people. And my brother was in an accident um, because I didn't take him to his friend's house. I felt guilty that he had get, gotten hit by a car on his bike. And it destroyed his knee and he couldn't play baseball anymore. He was in high school. He was the pitcher in the first baseman and it changed his life. And frankly, this is gonna sound awful, but when I was doing the therapy with him in front of the fireplace all winter long, and he was crying and hollering, mom, mom, she's hurting me. And mom would say, toughen up, titmouse. <laughs> she's making you better. And I thought, oh my gosh, if I can pick on my brother and get away with it, how can this be wrong? So that's why I got into, I went away from the speaking for the people who couldn't speak anymore to, to helping people who maybe didn't want to have to go through the pain and suffering of what they have to go through from a physical therapy standpoint. But I figured out early that if you deliver it with sugar and not vinegar, you get a little, a little further.